guys enjoy this whole video we're going to the deepest heaviest snowiest part of town and there is a lot of snow there and then if you hang on till the end of the video we do about i don't know 10 minutes worth of donuts in two different parking lots and in the last one a few other people joined me there and uh enjoy it enjoy the video take care guys you're gonna love this one <laughs> we are going to the snowiest area in big bear right now and i heard there's two and a half or maybe even three feet up there i can't believe it so i'm excited to go up there it is february 6 2024 in beautiful big bear lake thank you guys for being here thank you for all the support through this storm it's been amazing you guys i'm so thankful for you and another way to show a little bit of gratitude is if you want to get some merch at bigbearweatherandmore.com if you put in the code storm at checkout you will save some money and it's only through the rest of this storm i believe friday is the last day so come get your stuff you guys and enjoy it for a better price Also, last but not least, it's really important that I do my best to take care of you guys. I know everyone likes to come skiing and snowboarding. So if you're not going to bring your own skis, go to Get Boards Ski and Snowboard Rentals on Big Bear Boulevard. They have two shops right next to the village. If you mention that you're friends of this channel, they'll take care of you. And if you bring your skis and snowboards in, they'll wax them for free if you mention you're friends of the channel. So go say hello to Tony and the rest of the staff over there. And uh, yeah, I think you guys will be super stoked. That place has an incredibly good reputation for their quality product and amazing customer service. You can also get your lift tickets from them online at getboards.com. Last but not least, if you buy them 72 hours in advance of the day you're planning on going from getboards.com, you'll save money Compared to if you go to the window the day you want to ski at the resort, if you go to that ticket window, you'll pay a lot more than going to getboards.com 72 hours in advance. All right, guys. Well, this is going to be a pretty stressful drive, I can tell you that. We're coming up to Bear Mountain. The snow's coming down really good right now. But yeah, I heard they had a whole bunch of snow in Upper Moon Ridge, so I'm looking forward to checking it out.
YouTube solid, hit like and subscribe for me. I'd really appreciate it. Help me out here. Help these videos go further and wider. That would be awesome. I, I do work hard for these and I hope I deserve it. That's definitely coming down good. Man. So yeah, apparently they may have double what they have right down here. And we're in Middle Moon Ridge. So all depends on how tricky this this road is. Airbnb that we have our friend on the channel he's given it away a couple times to you guys it's right here place is awesome it is absolutely awesome and I know he's gonna be doing some more giveaways soon and if if you contact us I can give you a link to his Airbnb and um, if, if you just mention that you, you heard of it because of the channel he'll give you a discount 100% he will 100% take care of you all right let's see how I do on this first part of the steepness Just maintain momentum it's very easy on the okay so we're coming up to our friend Moonridge Cindy and Mark from the channel I think their house is one of these houses. Oh, this is sketchy. Look at this, guys. Holy moly. Whew. One more sharp turn and we're up at the top. This is so steep, you guys. I don't think you... Oh, here's the sharp turn. Okay. Look at how much snow is up here. Holy cow. I mean, seriously, holy cow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, they got two feet up here at least. That's ridiculous. And it's not that high, not, not much higher up than where we're at. Can you guys believe this? tour around Upper Moon Ridge. I'm hoping because it wasn't so easy getting up, or because it was so easy, it won't be difficult going down. We're not going down that route, though. We're going down another route. Alright, so here is Villa Grove Street.
these snow berms. They're up to the middle of my window here. And that drive, oh my gosh, yeah, there's, there's a lot of snow up here. This tree is just hanging on by thread. Control. Hopefully we don't, but at least if you do, there's these big snow berms. It'll be good. It'll be like a what's that game called? Oh my gosh! <laughs> I, I, I'm so tired. Not too tired to do this, but.
So again, we're in Upper Moon Ridge. What we've been, just been driving on for a while is called Villa Grove, and it just turned into La Crescenta. And it's snowing pretty good out here. Guys, if you guys want to rent a place where it snows a lot up here, up here in Upper Moon Ridge is where you want to be. I mean, it's a lot more snow. It's like twice as much. Maybe even in some parts up here a little bit more. Plowed, but it hasn't been plowed in a little bit, so I'm a little bit nervous about it because we're making fresh tracks. Just gonna have to take it really easy. When I look through the camera, it does not look steep. I'm telling you guys, this is really steep.
hardest part of this downhill is coming up. Jeez, there is so much snow. part of this second hill going down. Snow Summit when we're done here. As you can see, the lower we go in elevation, there's significantly less snow, but there's still more snow here than there is at my place. And again, it's not a huge elevation difference either, just a few hundred feet.
really seems like over here it's snowing a little bit harder than where we just were. Some parts of Upper Moon Ridge, we're getting some, some really good snow. This just might be on the way over there right now.
lights on, but it's snowing so hard you can hardly see it there. driving in the snow and you practice doing this in a very safe place and practice regaining control you'll be very shocked how quickly you actually gain a good grasp for this close to one more No, we have till Friday. This road thrush, the exit, can be really, really difficult. When it's really slick. But tonight, I've had no issues up or down any of these steep slopes. I haven't even slid once until just now when I did it on purpose. I just wanted, wanted you guys to know it's it's a lot different than it was the other night. A lot different. show you the parking lot that you should be doing that in 
I probably shouldn't be doing those at, at Snow Summit or Bear Mountain, but some of their empty satellite parking lots where they put the overflow traffic, that's a, a good spot. And I will show you where that is. Coming right up to it. To, there's many of them, but we're gonna go to one of them right now. There's Big Bear Boulevard. street called Brownie Lane. We're going to go into the Brownie lot. It's called the Brownie lot. There's already people there. Ah, no way. No way. We're going to have to join them. Look, see, there's a couple people. I just better make sure that it's not something that I don't want to do it in front of. We're going into the Brownie lot. Oh, look at them. Yeah. to this big open area look at <laughs> it's not just us here These guys, look at these guys. sketchy situation because you're right on the main main street right on moon ridge but
me and he wanted me to stop and he knew who I was. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That is really, really cool. All right, guys. Well, that's how you get a good feel for losing control and regaining control. It's not difficult. It's really not. Once you learn. But, man, I can smell my tires a little bit. I think I caught some actual, uh, some actual pavement underneath. Anyway. Thanks for cruising. I appreciate it. I love you guys a lot. And uh, yeah, I will talk to you guys a little bit later. Enjoy the video. This will probably be the last one for the night so I can get a little bit of rest finally. And then tomorrow morning early, of course I'll be up for you guys. Are you kidding me? Hit the like, hit the subscribe, and thank you. I'll talk to you guys later. All right, peace.